Hey, what's happening, guys? Welcome to Q&A with a competitive eater. I'm Furious Pete, and yes, I am a competitive eater. Today, I'm actually doing Q&A from Seoul, South Korea. I just finished filming a TV show, so please forgive me for quality or any mishaps that you may see. In every one of these episodes, I answer questions that you guys asked me in the previous episode. The top liked questions that I saw, I answer in this Q&A. So, let's get right into it. Question number one, would you still continue eating if you got shot in the knee with an arrow? Sorry guys, I don't really play the game The Elder, but... Ha 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 ha, yes I would. Of course I would. Jeez. Question two. How long did you struggle with anorexia and do you think that it played a big part in how fast and how much you can actually eat now? I'm curious because I've thought, I would have thought anorexia, basically starving yourself, would ruin your appetite and shrink your stomach like crazy. Pretty amazing you were able to overcome and encounter it like that. Um, I'm pretty sure just bulking up and, you know, trying to gain weight, kind of forcing food into me could have really, you know increase my appetite, increase my stomach, and all that stuff. I'm not really sure why I'm able to eat the way I eat. Um, I think it's just my, the whole mind over matter, you know? When I was anorexic, I was using my mind to try and, you know, uh, not eat. I was, you know, just really pushing myself not to eat. And now I'm able to push myself to eat um, to the extreme, of course. Uh, yeah. Do you ever put a towel on your dick and pretend it's a ghost? Uh, sometimes. Have you ever made your mom cry by eating a lot of food at Thanksgiving? Um, usually moms, when their sons eat a lot of their food that's being made, they're actually quite happy. So, it hasn't really come as um, a shock really yet. So, yeah, my mom hasn't really cried. We usually just get drunk at Thanksgiving now anyway, so... Question, I don't even know. Would you fuck a sheep if you were a sheep? Yes, I would fuck a sheep if I was a sheep. I'm a sheep. Obviously, I'm going to be fucking sheep. Same question goes if I was a horse. Would you fuck a horse? Yes, I would fuck a horse if I was a horse. If I was a human, would, would you fuck a human? Yes, I would fuck a human if I was a human. Or I am a human, I think. Have you ever tried to eat the ghost chili? Or will you ever do a video eating a ghost chili? Yes, I plan on doing it. Um, however, we are going to be shooting an episode in India uh, fairly soon. I mean, next year in 2012. Um, and I just, I kinda, I'm kind of waiting with that to do it fresh. Because all you can really do at home is get a nice dried piece. So I want to get a fresh ghost pepper uh, in India. And yeah, I'm going to try it, unfortunately. Uh, I think I'll be able, I don't think I'll be able to handle it, let's be honest, I won't. <laughs> if you were about to be executed, what would your final meal consist of? I'm pretty sure I would have something like a 48 ounce steak of Kobe beef, maybe even a 72 ounce Kobe beef steak um, with a delicious beer, some foie gras, uh, pizza, some pasta, some of my mom's home cooking, a turkey, 10 chickens, another 72 ounce steak. Sounds pretty good to me. What do you think is the best way to get a six pack? Um, this is the way a physique works. There's 80% diet, there's 10% training, 10% rest. That means uh, physique is based on diet. So the best way to get a six pack is to watch your diet and make sure you eat clean and consistently. Fortunately, that is the name of the game. It sucks most of the time, but hey, if that's what you want to achieve, if you want to achieve a crazy physique, that's what you have to do. How did you feel after you drank an entire bottle of olive oil? Did you throw up at all? I didn't throw up at all. I almost wish I did because I had a three day cleanse after that. I was just shitting streams of shit. It was just so smooth coming out. Ugh. Get the shivers just thinking about it. Do you see many women competitive eaters in competitions? I would say about 5% of competitive eaters out there are women. 
I'm not exactly sure on exact figures or anything like that, but I know a handful of women that do compete, um, but for the most part, it's, it's obviously not common. In your vids, you seem to get a lot of positive support from those watching you eat. Have there ever been any individuals who react negatively to your eating? Well, you do see comments like, meanwhile in Africa, and there's, there is comments here and there. I mean, you're going to have haters, um, people that say this is stupid and all this stuff, because it is stupid, really, at the end of the day, but it is entertaining, too. So um, I'm always going to have haters. There's always going to be haters, and that is the name of the game. That's just how it is. What do your parents and family think about having a career and just eating a lot of food? Have you always wanted to be a competitive eater, and do you have any regrets while doing it? You're crazy, bro. Um, it's hard to say. Basically, I'm doing competitive eating right now because I have an amazing opportunity to travel around the world. Um, you know, I'm doing a German TV show, we're doing a world tour, so it's been my dream to travel around the world, and now I'm able to do it. Um, so that's why I'm doing this. Um, I got my master's in engineering. I finished that about a year ago, um, and I plan on using that one day. So, I mean, I don't my parents understand what I'm doing, um, and uh, yeah, they're they're supporting it. Um, have I always dreamed of being a competitive eater? No, but uh, now that it's here, it's awesome. And that is it for this episode of Q&A with the Competitive Eater. If I didn't answer your question, and it was a top-rated question, I'm sorry. I missed it. I'm a little tired here in Seoul. A little jet lag still. Um, if you have any questions that you want to ask me related to competitive eating fitness, or anything that you think I may be able to answer, just put it in the comment box below, and I will answer all the top-like questions in the next episode. Like always, Add me to Facebook, follow me on Twitter, subscribe, tell your friends, and all that jazz. You're dead!